So guys, we are headed to Cordelia's first vet appointment. Let's hope everything goes well. We get a clear bill of health and then Carly can start the adventure of getting the kitties acclimated with each other because so far it's been with the cats. Yeah, so far it's been a lot of dander hissing under the door. Her hair's not even like coming off. So, oh, you're brushing her? No, I was brushing myself. That's what I thought you said. You needed to brush to brush your own hair. You're brushing your um, kitty. What do you want her to look good for her appointment? Heck yeah, I do. You kitty. You can't oh. even. You can't even see you. Look. Oh, oh, get back. We can actually see her in here other than when I film her in your bedroom. <laughs> it's like she blends into everything. That's like when I looked in there, I was like, crap, did she get out? <laughs> I can see her. So we're going to dinner So it went pretty well. There's nothing wrong with her. My eyeball has been literally itchy ever since we've been there. I don't know why. Is he ignoring us? <laughs> He's just cutting the grass. But we got... She got some little vaccines and stuff. Got tested, everything was negative. I wish you would just say here. Carly made vet appointments for Dandruff and Ivy. Dandruff and Ivy, that will be interesting. And of course they're saying, oh, they need to be on Flantic and all this crap. It's like they survive eight years without that crap. Eight years? Or five years without that crap. We don't need that stuff. I feel like you are obsessed with her or something. All you want to do is touch her She's a baby. She's a baby. So far, any of us that are allergic to cats, including Carly's boyfriend, we're not allergic to her. Like, I hold her and put her by my face and I'm not getting all itchy. Could just be, I don't know, do kitties have different kind of dander than, like, cats? Carly's brushing her a lot, so she's used to it, because... Definitely, definitely seems like she's going to be a longer haired kitty. Oh, and she weighed 1.8 1. 1. pounds. Yeah. It was 1.78, but they rounded up. Uh oh. She's just a little squirt. She's a little squirt. And they she's, said she's on the thin side. Yeah. No, I think she's fat. She'll fill out um, now that she's eating normal food instead of kitty milk and whoop <laughs> and kitten chow. We got her, got her the good kitty food now. They wiped off. So I'm making dinner. I'm making tray dinner. It's gonna have chicken, sausage, or kielbasa, little mini potatoes, some carrots, and some green beans. And all you do for the seasoning is extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and Italian seasoning. It's so easy and it's so good. I had the oven preheated at 425. Just thought I would share with you guys how I'm throwing together tonight's pretty healthy dinner, actually. Okay, I'm just cut, cut the skin off my hand. Don't do that. It's done. 
Carly's gonna show you her favorite picture of her kitty. Show it to him. I don't think it's necessarily my favorite. It's your lock screen. But they look can't at her see. eyes. You know what Carly did that was really rude? Tell him. What did I do? I bought her cat some toys um, off of Amazon. This little bird that like, what's it, chirp and stuff? I don't know. Yeah, it makes annoying noises. And then this other toy that you have the suction cup and it's got like a hoopy thing and it's got birds and feathers. What do you have hanging that made on it? No sense. It has a suction cup at the bottom and it's basically just like this long stick and it has like things that different things you can do. Different toys. To it. So it's basically one of those like she could play with it herself. But it's like a stick and a toy. Yeah. Anyways, I got him off Amazon. Got and him my in mom the mail. told me yesterday, she was like, the toys are here. I know, so I but I found them and I gave them to the cat. I put them on the dining room table because she was busy with her boyfriend last night. Whoa. They went shopping whoa, and whatever. Whoa. I will leave them here. And then tomorrow, when we have alone time, I'll come up and visit the kitty and give her her presents from her grandmother. <laughs> today. When did you give them to her? Last, Last night? night? Oh, I thought you did it today when I was gone. Because I had a meeting this morning with Ken. Come back. And she's like, oh yeah, I already gave those toys to Cordelia. Cordelia's? Or Cleopatra. No. <laughs> <laughs> I give her all different kind of names. Anyways, we are at Target. We're going to Coral Target. On the we have two things to return. Stuff. Nothing exciting. And we're going to go in here and I had a couple things. What did I need to get? Oh, you need a garbage can. Yep. You need to get. Is that what you have to get? No, I have to get Clorox bleach spray. That's not what you said when we were in the kitchen. You yeah, said I you did. wanted to get something. I and it to, wasn't that. I need to get you that. You wanted to go to Whole Foods to get yogurt. And you oh, yeah, to yeah. Bus. Anyways, we're going to some stores. We're doing some shopping. And, and uh, we're bringing you along. That's the plan. Oh, that's cute. Half of the toys are gonna go right through the cracks, though. No, they're not. These? Yeah. They're not that small. And then, her favorite thing I got from Target ever was her lime in the white cloth. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's the same thing, but it's ramen noodles and shrimp. Cute. It's kitty ramen. And then she also likes her mice. Oh, jeez. So these are fun mice. <laughs> Here's a lemon, strawberry. And then also, I feel like I'd be intrigued in hair wraps. Really? I had a good one. I should have... Cat treats. You got cat treats? I need to. Oh. Uh. They ran out and they were so sad this morning. Oh, jeez. Aren't they adorable? They're cute. Guess how much they are. Ten bucks. <laughs> Look at them. Let me make sure they're in good shape. Well, I'm bummed because these are my favorite yogurts. Those well, Carly likes them too. She, Carly got me hooked on them. They're the Noosa Mates. And this is the salted caramel with chocolate. Oh, was it? Hot fries? And they only had two of them left. And then what's the one we usually get? The banana? It's like banana. It has like banana, like freeze dried banana. And then. Little pieces of chocolate, I think. Chocolate. And. I don't even remember what else. Carly. Has a candle addiction. She had to get that. Really cute, and they're homemade from someone. And then we got flatbreads. And I tomorrow. got a little soap holder thing because these ones are really cute. Wait, filming on your phone. You got a camera in here. Okay, going through the car wash. Never been through this one before. This was Carly's idea because my car I'm hasn't. Here all the time. <laughs> my car hasn't been washed. In Long time. The last car wash I paid for was terrible. I like this car wash. Ooh, this is good, powerful water. Exactly. This car wash is amazing. And you get more noodles. You get noodles twice. Why do you call those noodles? They're flat. They look like noodles. Do they not? They look like rags. What happens if they get stuck in your car? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, special rain. So Carly 
talked me into getting this candle from Target and it smells so good. It's apple orchard. I'm gonna put it in the living room on the little end table. You know what this is gonna be perfect for? Bless you. Fall. What's coming up pretty soon? Fall. Fires. Fireplace time. That's not very soon. That's still some time. Pretty away. soon. That's in winter when it snows. Like October, November. It doesn't snow in October. It doesn't have to snow to turn the fireplace on. Yes, it does. Really? It has to be really cold outside. And then we got these. We each got a bag. It's milk chocolate, sea salt caramels, and they are so good. We actually opened it up, but my mom can have the open package. And then I got these little hair wrap things because I hate like drying my hair in like a huge towel because it's just so heavy. So I got hair wraps and this one's really cute. It actually has strawberries on it. So I really like that. And it has a white one too, which I also like. I got some more kitty toys, some more Halloween mouses. Mice, Halloween mice. Some little shavers, some Vaseline. And Ben is a garbage can for my bedroom because I really need one. I got some more cat treats for the big chunkers, some body wash. And I got this cauldron candle. And then they also had a moon one. I, I guess this is like their Halloween stuff at Target, but this doesn't mean Halloween to me. It means every day. <laughs> I got this pumpkin spice soy candle that the wicks are wooden. We could literally open our own candle store. I want to. <laughs> well, I would open my own. It would be my business. You want an actual store? Online or do you want store. an online store? What kind of candles are you going to sell? Are you going to make your own? I already explained this to you. It would be cool how those people did like the uh, other stuff. Shh, don't tell them your idea. Then bleep it all out, my but, idea. Because that's a really good idea. You might have to do that someday. Well, I'm starting to bring my poopla upstairs. I had this. Oh, I those. I also got these for under my sink. My bathroom. Because I just have a lot of like extra makeup and products and stuff that are so unorganized. So I needed to get some little organization thingies. Hey guys, so that is going to wrap up today's video. I am here in the bedroom with little Tobias. Did I show you guys that I gave him a little buzz cut? So now he kind of matches being his brother, even though he's just a little, like, four and a half pound little squirt. See, here's Bean. Bean's had his buzz cut, but he's a little bit bigger guy. Huh? Are you the little bit biggers? Anyways, Ken's on his way home from a meeting, and I just purchased... Top Gun Maverick off of Amazon so we could watch it again. I just loved it so much the first time that I'm really excited to watch it again. And I figured I'll just wait, edit my video in the morning, and we'll enjoy movie night tonight on a Tuesday. Why not? I just wanted to real quick mention, I don't know if you guys are interested in this or if you don't follow me on Instagram, you didn't see my Instagram stories that I posted last night. You can follow me in Our Family Nest. They're still up there now if you watch this video before nine o'clock on Wednesday. See these books up here, guys? I haven't decided yet. I've never read my Twilight books. When I read them before, I honestly think I got them maybe from the library. I wanna look up what year Twilight was written because I don't remember if it was like 12 years ago. I mean, like if I had to guess, I remember Andrew and I going to the movie theater. Whenever the new movies would come out, we would watch them together. And how old was he just even for Breaking Dawn? Maybe 16? That would be 10 years ago. So maybe Twilight was more like 15 years ago. Whatever it is, I thought it would be fun because you know my book videos that I do on Sundays. This Sunday I already have a book video plan. It's going to be all the books I read in the month of August, except starting tomorrow or the next day whenever i'm going to start reading all of the twilight books starting the following sunday we're going to talk about twilight i'm going to post a video talking about twilight then the following sunday after that will be new moon the following one will be eclipse and that'll kind of just be my sunday book videos until i make it through all of the books and i might even do midnight sun and who knows maybe i'll do life and death i don't know if i'll do the brie tanner one because it's just a novella and 
I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how the videos go and how much interest there is from you guys. But I posted on my Instagram and I'll ask you guys here as well. I would love this, love for this to be a little bit more like interactive. Like I would love for some of you to read Twilight with me this next week. Between now and what is the next Sunday? Sunday, September 4th is the next, not the Sunday, next Sunday. I could post my video sometime after that. I could go live maybe on YouTube and we could do like a online sort of book chat. Like, I don't know, I'm open to feedback. If there's no good way to solve what's in my head, at the very least, I'm gonna be posting those Twilight book reviews starting on Sunday, September 4th. So you can just read Twilight and then when I'm talking about the book, it'll be fresh in your mind too. Um, it's been a long time since I've read the books. I've only read them once. I've seen the movies a gazillion times. And I thought this would be a lot of fun. So join me if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And we will see you on Friday. Bye, guys.